Greetings, my friend. You are here because you are interested in the unknown. Or something like Pink and Spooky. <laughs> you have my undivided attention. I am about to show you a world full of grave robbing aliens, silly bats on strings, and men who like to cross dress. Turn the lights back on, I'm not f***ing done. For this is the filming locations of Ed Wood. <laughs> It all starts in Hollywood. Well, Hollyweird is what I like to call it. Surprisingly, this movie was made by Tim Burton. Tim Burton! I know, right? Nobody knows that Tim Burton made this movie. And to be honest with you, it's one of my favorite Tim Burton films. Oh, good for you! The movie surrounds itself by a man named Edward D. Wood Jr. Yes, there's two of them. He is known for making Z horror films like Plan 9 from Outer Space is his most notorious film. And it has a huge cult following now, little does he know. It's because he's dead, right? It's because he's it's dead. It's because he's dead. That's why not. Okay, it stars Vampira Bella Lugosi. I mean, you would think with two names like that, this movie would be incredible. Well, it's not. So to pay tribute, this first filming location is actually not from the movie Ed Wood, directed by Tim Burton. No, no, no. It is an actual Ed Wood movie location. Yes, I managed to slip these in here too. Well, instead of me just talking about it, why don't I just show you the life, the story, the dresses, and filming locations of Edward D. Wood Jr. The Grief of his wife's death. So the first spot that we are at is actually the real life Plan 9 from Outer Space, Ed Wood's filming location, where Vela Lugosi comes out of his house and he picks up the flower and then slowly walks over here to the corner and gets hit by a car. Remember that? Never to return again. So what's the scene about? Well, Bella, listen, we couldn't film everything in one day, so we had to make a few sacrifices. And that sacrifice just happened to be Bella's house from the movie Ed Wood. Happens all the time in Hollywood. Anyway, but the filming location still does exist today. I'm gonna throw up some pictures here to show you guys what it looks like then and now. Since Dylan and I knew that we weren't gonna film that location, we found this location instead. This is the actual location where Ed Wood and Bella Lugosi stood. This place, I think, is just a little bit more special. It's the real deal. So fun fact about this house, this house happened to be Tor Johnson's actual home. You know, the wrestler Tor Johnson in all of Ed Wood films. Now, he was a good monster, but when it came to acting, he was, well, questionable. Have one of the boys take the guy and the girl back to town. You take shots. Okay, Inspector. What are you going to do? Look around a little. You would be surprised to know that was his best take. Or who am I kidding? It's an Ed Wood film. It's his only take. <laughs> take the guy and the girl back to town. You take charge. What you give him all the lines for? He's unintelligible. Look, Lugosi's dead and Vampiro won't talk. I had to give somebody the dialogue. Clearly, Ed Wood got filming rights to film at his home for free. Say, this is actually a pretty famous house, especially for those that love the cult classic kind of like B movies. I mean, Plan 9 from Outer Space is, is pretty iconic. Agreed. Like I said before, we see Bella Lugosi open that door, cross this garage here, and then pick flowers right over here. And I was saying to Dylan, I was like, Dylan, do you think those flowers right here, this flower bush right here, are the same flowers that Bella happened to pick? Clearly they're not in bloom right now, but you know, it, I'm it, curious. Maybe, maybe not. It's been so long. Right. If that is the same rose bush, then this person has a green thumb, clearly. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. I'm so curious. And cut, friend, we're moving on. Heading on down to our next location, we picked up good friend and fellow director, Cole Bladen, to join us on our Hollywood adventures. Hello. I wonder what we'll see. People turning south from the freeway were startled when they saw three flying saucers 
high over Hollywood Boulevard. This is Borders Bar, located on Hollywood Boulevard, where Burton filmed the exterior and interior of Borders. And fun fact, Musso and Frank's The Famous Steakhouse across the street was shown in this film. However, the interior shots where Ed Wood meets Orson Welles was actually Borders Bar, just refurnished. Here's like a wide shot of the entire building. It's pretty cool. And the fact that it's pretty much stayed the same since they've shot the movie is awesome. Yeah, 30 years. This is also where we see Ed Wood meet Bela Lugosi for the first time as Bela's trying on his, yeah. Yeah. his, uh, his casket. His caskets. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, what's the line? Well, this is the worst casket I've ever been in or something like that. Nailed it. He's preparing for his death because he knows he's going to be dying yeah. soon. Totally. Because so. he's a has-been. Because yeah. he's a has-been. Fuck you! After Cole was done insulting the King of Darkness, I went to go get a closer look outside of Bordner's to see if anything had changed for the funeral parlor scene. Nothing has changed much, the ironwork is still there, and if you look across the street at the Art Deco building, it is still intact as well, and is now World of Wonder. You know, drag race, where fabulous men dress in beautiful garments. Right, Ed? Well, I'd rather not go into that over the phone. Alright, now it's time to show you some side-by-sides of then and now. I wish we could go in, but we can't. Yeah, that would be, I think they open up at like five or something, and at the time of making this, it's 2.30, so. People drink early in Hollywood, they should open it up. I'm drunk right now. Yes. Yeah. Now it's time to say goodbye to Bordner's Bar. Look, it's Boris Karloff. What do you feel about that, Bella? Karloff does not deserve to smell my shit. Yeesh. Okay, moving on to our next location, which is just a hop, skip, and jump away. It's the Pantages Theater. Now, in the movie Ed Wood, this is where the premiere of Plan 9 from Outer Space is held, but in real life, it was at the Carlton Theater, shown here. But let's go ahead and pause the video right here and take a look. Ah, oh, jeez, honey, I'm so happy for you. Another fun fact about the Pantages, the interior shots that they shown in Ed Wood was not even the Pantages at all. It was actually the Orpheum Theater down in downtown LA. Moving on down to Quanga Boulevard where Ed Wood scams the church into funding his movie, he takes his gang of misfits with him. Let's hear you call Boris Karloff a <laughs> sucker. <laughs> we want these Baptists to like us. Please. The interior of this church was used as well, and you could see from the stained glass windows are the same, so that means they must have been sitting in this exact location. However, I don't think the church's pool scene was filmed here. Do you reject Satan and all his evils? Sure. For I think that is another location. You like my outfit? I got inspired by Ed Wood. I, I can see that. <laughs> You know, Ed Wood had pretty good taste, if I do say so myself, even though most of his clothing was from his girlfriend's closet. Ooh, speaking of closet, let's go to Ed Wood's first home from the movie, Ed Wood, for our next movie location. <laughs> These things are fucking uncomfortable. Here it is. Next up, after we just uh, showed you guys Ed Wood's first home, where he lived with Sarah Jessica Parker. Excuse me! Birds are everywhere. <laughs> this is the house, the first house that Ed Wood lived in where they filmed it, uh, where he lived with Sarah Jessica Parker. So that's where my sweater's been. Not sure if Tim Burton used the interior of this home, but we do know the exterior was used for establishing shots in the film. And uh, next up, we're gonna go to Glendale to go see a possible Glen or Glenda location. What are the odds of that in Glendale? I know, isn't that funny? In Hollywood for Ed Wood. You see where I'm going with this? Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of things, so let's yeah, go. Like, like Sarah Palmer next to a palm tree, right? That kind of 
That kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Actually, stand in front of the car for me, why don't you? Okay. So we're coming up to our next location, Michael. Hello. Uh, this is from the part from Ed Wood where we see him filming Glenn and Glenda. Scene 17, Glenda looking in the window. One of the famous uh, cross-dressing scenes in the film. Yep. I like to dress in women's clothing. Johnny Depp in an amazing ensemble <laughs> uh, with a beret, little pink sweater, and a nice black skirt as he admires the mannequins in the window. So we're coming up to that scene right now. Did you bring your skirt? Dang it! Hurry! Uh, we're coming up on this scene where they have no permit to film, but you know, they're guerrilla shooting, that's what they did. I mean, for those who don't know, gorilla shooting has nothing to do with an ape. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Carpenter did the same thing in Halloween, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of people. We're doing it right now! Yeah. Hurry! <laughs> who would have guessed this run-down, disgusting-looking building would be a Tim Burton filming location where Johnny Depp walked? Some might not believe it. Could I get everyone's attention, please? Could you gather around? I've got something to say. Everybody... As you see, the building across the street still remains, but is no longer a regal store like it is in the Ed Wood film. It is turned into something else. But the structure is definitely still there. So you can see they blocked out the window. This pillar is still here from Glen or Glenda. It's just been painted black. And Ed Wood does round this corner over here on this side. It's too bad the gate's yeah, not the open gate's where closed. we can, like... Because yeah, yeah. Johnny was probably standing like right here yeah, when they just yelled Absolutely. action. He just kind of... So right here is where they film Glenn or Glenda. You ready? Action! Amazing performance by Cole, but for our next little location, I want you guys to notice the building right behind Johnny Depp, Delilah's. Recognize it now? And right here is where the cop car would be crossing the street. Now this is my favorite thing about this entire Ed Wood film by Tim Burton. Oh, I hate it when she interrupts the picture. I'm gonna put up some side-by-sides here from actual Ed Wood films to Tim Burton's Ed Wood film and show you guys how amazing Tim Burton was at recreating not only the sets, but the people and the costumes. I mean, it took a whole team to do this and it's just incredible. This one is from Glenn or Glenda that Ed Wood is recreating that we just showed you guys. And yes, that is Ed Wood in a blonde wig out in the middle of LA in the mid 1950s. And here's another shot from Glenn or Glenda too with Sarah Jessica Parker. Look at that. Frame by frame, they did it so well. Tim clearly has an eye. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Let's pack up our things and move to our next location. Run! Uh... And just like that, we're back in the heart of Hollywood. We are here at the next Ed Wood movie location. The boys are <laughs> filming it over here on this side. So this building right here was used in Ed Wood as an exterior and interior. This is where Ed Wood makes all his amazing or questionable films such as Plan 9 from Outer Space, Glenn or Glenda. Even though we can't get in there, it is pretty cool to know that they filmed inside the building where they recreated all of Ed Wood's terrible movies. It's kind of iconic. Action. But let's do a side-by-side -side shot and show you guys the exterior moment where Edward runs out of the studio in drag to catch a cab to go to Musso and Frank's where he meets Orson Welles. The door that Edward comes out of is actually this guy right here. And as you can see... Yeah, it's all boarded up. That's no longer a door. There's no door here. So, but this used to be a door where Ed Wood and everybody else used to come and go from. This seems like the alleyway where Vampira walks down and you see that building down there in the corner? I'll point it out to you. She walks down this alley, but it seems to be kind of gated. Yeah, they have boarded up this entire area. It's been like restaurants and different buildings now. So this would be the walkway. And if you see these windows here, they haven't changed since the filming of Ed Wood. Yeah, the alley is, is literally right here. Like with the shot where yeah. Vampire's walking up to the studio, dun, 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 right here. But yeah, she would have been standing right over here, beyond, like right next to this red building, mm -hmm. which I believe is the is the studio. Yes, exactly. So now we have the filming location 
from Tim Burton's Ed Wood. Yeah. But let's go to the real location where Plan 9 was actually filmed. The actual set. Well, we can't, too bad we wouldn't, it would be so cool to be able to go inside to see what wouldn't it would it? look like right now. But yeah, we'll be able to see the outside, which is awesome. Right, I feel like, you doing okay over there, Cole? <laughs> Sucks we couldn't walk the same path as Vampyra, so we made our own. But speaking of Vampyra, before we go to an Edward Real location, I wanted to stop by to the late great horror hostess Vampyra and pay our respects. Respect. As is tradition, we bopped around the cemetery for a bit and realized they were filming something. Not much of a rare sighting, but they're filming something here at Hollywood Forever. I don't know if you could go down this way. Oh, speaking of filming in cemeteries, I have something to ask you guys. Like what? So I was watching Plan 9 from Outer Space and everybody knows at the very beginning of the film, we see a cemetery with a bunch of grieving people surrounding the area. And I couldn't help but notice something. Now we all know Ed Wood likes to dress up in women's clothing. It makes me feel comfortable. Hey. You do you. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Okay, you see here all these people, and pause. Do you see this woman right here? Okay, hear me out. This woman, during this entire scene, never shows her face. If anything, it looks like she's turning away from the camera to hide her face. But I don't know about you guys, but seeing Ed Wood in Glen or Glenda, I start to get to notice his body shape, his form. sure this is a man in a dress in Plan 9 from Outer Space. Well, you have to admit, she is rather mannish. So I scoured the internet everywhere. I couldn't find anything. Either nobody wants to talk about it or nobody noticed it. So here's my conclusion. I think it wouldn't be so far-fetched if Ed Wood dressed up as a woman, a grieving woman, in his own film. Sounds very much like his thing to do. Kind of like Hitchcock, but in a dress. I think Edwin managed to slip himself into Plan 9 from Outer Space. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? That ain't no woman. It's a man, man. Vampira. And right behind her, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but Marzi Harris here. Oh, what does it say? The fear of death follows from the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared. Not that one, the other one. Oh, what does it say down below for Marzi Harris? Says, Loving mother, sister, daughter, and occasional wife. <laughs> yeah, when she felt like it, I guess. <laughs> she wanted to get one last laugh as she went up. Occasional wife. <laughs> what if that was like the husband, like, fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Plan 9 today. I know you didn't really like that film, but we love you in it. You're iconic. Love you. And Marzi is only love sometimes. Yep. Occasionally. Now it's time to leave the cemetery and get back to our normal programming and off to a real Ed Wood location. It's uh, it's cool, like you drive through Los Angeles like this and there's sound stages and production studios everywhere. We've driven by what, how many different studios now? So many, it was something that we kind of noticed today too, like just driving around Hollywood, all these little hidden gems of different studios and God knows what has been filmed there. I don't even know what the studio's names are, smaller ones, bigger ones like CBS. Every big major uh, companies got their own studios and then smaller companies as well. So uh, what's up next for you? And speaking of studios, we are finally driving by one of Ed Wood's real locations, the studio where all his bad horror films were really made. This is now known as Gold Diggers, but which surprisingly is still a film studio that you actually can rent out the space. But back in 1950s, this is where Plan 9 from Outer Space was filmed. Hold on to your ass! <laughs> Yeah, in LA, you gotta, you gotta drive like this to survive. Hit him. Hit him! <laughs> Pull the string! Pull the strings! Pull the string! Pull the strings! I like that! But yeah, we're gonna go in really quick, use the restroom, and then get the hell out of here. I'm gonna do my hands like Bella Lugosi. My gosh, Bella, how do you do that? Here, let me do that, let me do that to get the, to the parking ticket. Yeah, free parking ticket. <laughs> How much Five is it now? for the first hour. Oh, God. It's an expensive They're gonna right know there. we're poor! 
Now, this next location is very interesting because not only was it used in Ed Wood, but it happened to be Ed Wood's real life home. Ed Wood happened to live in this home with his second wife, Kathleen O'Hara. Until, of course, he was evicted. Now, come on, ghouls, let's go to our next filming location. We're here at our latest location. Oh, yes. And uh, we are here where Bela and Ed Wood are having this very in intimate discussion about just life, career, everything. And honestly, nothing has really changed except a couple of boarded up walls that I'll show you guys later. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, because in the shot, then Bela goes and he goes into his monologue and then he kind of faces the street and there's like a crowd watching him and the crowd claps and everything in the movie. But yeah, this street that we're standing on right now is the exact dolly shot that Tim uh, did. Yeah, as you see, there used to be glass here, or yeah. there actually may still be glass here, what Cole said, and uh, they just boarded it up so nobody can uh, break it. it or screw with it. Yeah, you can't trust anybody in LA, which sucks. Ugh. You could say that again past me. Listen, LA isn't what it used to be. It is a seedy, dirty, disgusting area. Words hurt, you know. We were even scared just to leave our car alone, even locked out in LA because, you know, Things get broken into. Our luggage was stolen. Well, luckily for us, nothing like that happened. But for these next side-by-side -side shots, I want you guys to take a look at the face above this beautiful arch here. That is something to note that has not changed since Ed Wood was filmed. Anyway, let's move on to our final Ed Wood movie location. As weirdly as it sounds, let's head on down to Edward Avenue for our final filming location. Well, this happens to be Screen Studios where Ed Wood meets a producer and convinces him he is the right director for Glenn or Glenda. I know what it's like to live with a secret and worry about what people are going to think of you. As we're looking at it side by side from the original film, nothing much has changed. The building, the brick is still all there. It just has this ugly Securitex sign on it. Even the palm trees in the back are the same. But who can look at that when Larry H. Parker is just leering his big pointer finger at you? Found out that Larry H. Parker died the day we filmed this. Weird, right? As weird as it is, where this studio is located happens to be on Edward Avenue. Mm -hmm. It makes you think, did they do it on purpose? Did he pick it here or did they name it after him? Or was this just a coincidence? Yeah, I wonder if the street was named way before they even started filming the movie, you know? Exactly. Right? It's pretty crazy. This is the one I'll be remembered for. You are most certainly correct, Edward. I hope you know that your dreams and your films are now forever remembered. Well, my friends, you have now seen the Edward movie locations. Don't forget to keep it pink and spooky and never stop being weird. Ow! Fucking hell! What the f***, Ty? Cheap ass set. For more pink and spooky content, go ahead and click one of the videos below.